An American corporation Nike is headquartered near Beaverton, Oregon. The company takes its name from the Greek goddess of victory. In the middle of the 1980s the corporation has a problem of low sales. The company is on the verge of shattering the basketball shoe division. Co-founder and CEO Phil Knight likes running. He tasks marketing VP Rob Strasser and the sports talent scout Sonny Vaccaro to come up with the new spokespersons for the company's basketball shoes. The team of managers consider the basketball players chosen in the 1984 NBA draft. They think third pick Michael Jordan is not the best pick. The young man likes Adidas shoes. Nike does not want to spend a lot of money for the basketball division. One day Wakaro watches Jordan's game. Wakaro remembers a tennis player Arthur Ashe commercial for his rackets. The basketball talent scout becomes convinced that the company should pursue Jordan. Wakaro considers Jordan a huge talent. Wakaro travels to California to talk with his friend George Reveling. The man coached Jordan. Vaccaro asks Reveling for his support in courting the talent. Then Vaccaro went to North Carolina to talk with Jordan's parents. He convinces Jordan's mother, Dolores, that Nike is a great company for her son. Jordan's agent, David Falk, calls his friend Vaccaro. Falk is angry at the basketball talent scout for contacting his client's parents. Falk tells Vaccaro that the Jordans have scheduled a meeting at Nike's headquarters in a few days. Strasser and Vaccaro start preparing for the meeting. The men request shoe designer Peter Monroe to prepare a prototype. The designer names the prototype Air Jordan. He is very excited. Wakaro talks with Knight. The CEO accepts to assign the basketball division's entire $250,000 budget to hire the young talent. The meeting with Jordan and his family is successful. Wakaro delivers a great speech.
after that the basketball talent scout learns that Adidas matched the offer. Adidas also added a great red Mercedes. The basketball talent scout is disappointed. He thinks the deal will not go through. Nevertheless, Dolores calls Vaccaro. The woman states that Jordan will sign with Nike on the condition he earns a little percentage of every air Jordan sold. Vaccaro thinks the corporation's managers would not accept this bonus. The man talks with the boss. Knight agrees. He trusts his friend Vaccaro. An epilogue reveals the Air Jordan exceeded the expectation of $3 million in sales. The Air Jordan earned $162 million in one year. The Air Jordan became a steady source of income for Michael Jordan.